She moves, but her movements aren't signs of consciousness, just spinal reflexes. That's what physicians told a Brampton courtroom as a family fights to save 27-year-old Takesha McKitty's life. I'm Christina Howorn in Brampton, where a family continues to fight for 27-year-old Takesha McKitty's life. Now, she's been declared brain dead for well or about a month now. And she's continuing to move, something that medical literature suggests should have stopped about 72 hours after she was declared dead. And that's one of the reasons her family is seeking a third court injunction, a chance for her to remain on life support and to stop the hospital from pulling the plug. She's moving her entire body. She's not just moving the lower half. She's moving her head. She's moving her arms. She's moving her legs, her feet, everything. So, yeah, definitely. It's been well documented on cell phone videos like these and witnessed by family, friends, nurses, even physicians. But doctors today told the court these aren't signs of life, just leftover reflexes. They are inconsequential because they don't represent anything in the brainstem or higher. We don't think that because they have spinal reflexes that they have consciousness. Dr. Andrew Baker, a neurologist who helped to define neurological death in Canada and the criteria for establishing it, told the court. Move it again, baby. He says that it's a phenomenon he's seen several times before, but not on patients that have been declared dead for so long. He concedes there aren't studies on patients like Takesha. There are not papers published on chronic patients, that's weeks and weeks, that have been receiving somatic support after being declared brain dead, he told the court. Good girl. Most studies say these movements are not witnessed 72 hours after death. Admitted to Brampton Civic Hospital on September 14th, suffering from a drug overdose, Takesha has never regained full consciousness. But her family says that doesn't mean she's dead. What are you scared of? What are you scared of? So this, these questions are, have to be answered. They know that we know the truth. And the truth is that those are not reflex, auto, automated reflexes. Those are actual mo movements that are stimulated by, by our voices, by our touch. Now, the hospital has repeatedly declined comment, citing patient confidentiality. The case resumes tomorrow with closing arguments expected. And that's when a judge will have to determine if Takesha can continue on life support or if the hospital can pull the plug.